Hello everybody, today we're going to cover how to create a SOAP web service in PHP, both the client side and the service side. So to start with, let's just make sure that we have the SOAP classes enabled in our PHP configuration. And to do that, let's start by setting up our environment, creating a folder called SOAP, and create a new document with the name server, .php and start the editing process. Just to make sure we can use the PHP info function that will give us details about our configuration and how staffs are set. So get back here, refresh, soap, sorry, soap and server and do a small search about soap and check out the values okay as you can see here this is the soap settings and both the soap clients and the server are set to enabled let's get back to this file and clean this and start how it is created simply we need to create a class in fact, we don't need to create a class. It's just how, you know, it's like creating a clean and neat code. Class server. And start by the public function and the constructor. Construct. For now, we're going to leave it empty. We're not going to use it since we're going to just return some dummy data for instance and later on we can start developing on that public function and this is our first implemented method for, for instance let's just say that we want to create a project and that project says that we have a table of students and it has only two columns the first one is the ID of each student and the second one is the name so we want to get the names of the students from their IDs. Let's give it a name, get students name. Of course, we need to pass an argument or a parameter, which is the ID of the students. And since we're going to use SOAP to send receive the data, then we need the form of the SOAP vars, or let's say just we're going to use arrays id it's some sort of array and let's return for now just some dummy data which is the name sam so whatever we ask the function to do it will always return the value sam that's it for our class and start initializing our own server create a variable server new so server and here you have two options either you go into stick with the WSDL mode or just leave it like setting up your own things manually for instance I prefer to go with a null way and just pass a few parameters let's store them inside the params variable and create it right here params equals and as we've mentioned before everything should be in the form of an array array and that's the URI here it's like code of slash soap slash server.php or whatever you want to put there and start exporting the methods from this class and by using the function set class we want to export server and starts the handle this function here right in our you know in our example we've left the, the arguments as null or omitted which means that the function will assume that the data will be handled from the method or the the post method a variable or data that's sent from the user in a row mode so just leave it like this and that's it really.
For instance, we can just make sure that we don't have any errors by going back to the browser, refreshing the page, and we should get a blank page. Okay, refresh the page, blank, which means everything's okay. Now, getting back to the client side, and to make the code, look, you know, just to make it look more, you know, clean and beautiful and that stuff, we're going to split the files into two files. One for the implementation of the API, and the second for calling or making the call to the SOAP server. So let's create two files, one called client.php, and the second is called service.php. Load them both and start with the client first. As usual, creates a new class called client, and this class will hold our initiating our initiating process of how the client should interact with the server. So it's a public function. Again, construct and doing this, this, and instance. The instance that will hold the so client will get back to the arguments that we should place there. For now, let's just declare this private whatever credentials. Okay, we can omit this for now. Just get here and pass some parameters or create some parameters. Equals array. Always we're going to seek for arrays for a long time and pass these options. Location, where the script is located, and it's an HTTP URL. So HTTP code of slash soap slash server dot PHP. The second is the URI. And it's loaded from a URN. The same path code of slash soap slash server PHP. And finally, we're going to enable the tracing. If you want to debug some, you know, errors or whatever messages that will be returned back, set it to one and get back to our SOAP clients. Since as we've, met, as we've mentioned that we're not going to stick with the WSDL mode, we're going to leave it to null and pass the parameters, params, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, getting back to the server, and checking the name of the method that we've created. It's get student name. Let's just copy that and get back to get back to client and create a new public function. Just name it get name for example. And it has an argument of ID array so that we won't forget and make the call return return what we're using this instance to make a soap call and call the function or the name of the method that's found on the server file exactly as it is with the capitals and the lowercase all that you know whatever and set the parameters that we're going to pass, which is ID array in our case. That's it. Finally, make it easier for access and create a new initialized class here, new client. And that's it. Getting back to service and set in the ID array to array ID so far all these keys and values you know they don't matter for now because we always will always get the same result since it's just a dummy data however 
we're going to develop that and make it like you know interacting really with those keys and values that we're going to send and retrieve the accurate data we're going to see that in an instance id set that to one and then make the call clients what's the name of the function get name get name of this user or this student just echo that and go back check if there are any errors it looks that every everything's fine construct server okay and let's give it a test refresh the page oh sorry not the server instead we need the service ah oh, come on we haven't included the implementation yet okay php include client.php save yep as you can see we have sam displayed in you know right here which means that everything's working fine however we're just returning some dummy data let's see how it will work with a real database settings creating a singleton for example let's call this private Oh, sorry, private connection and this connection equals making a simple check is null. If it's null, this connection then create one self connects just we need the static function on it for creating a whole public one otherwise just leave sorry leave this connection to its actual state connection here static function connects there's an error which is static I dropped a and displaced in fact Okay, connection equals the very classic and old way, connect, and the server is our local host, and the username is root, the password is the same root, and the db is mysql select db, we're going to na name our database soap, make sure we're using this connection resource and return con that's it getting back to this level and declare declaring our sql statement select name from students where id equals id and since the id is passed within an array we need to extract that first id equals id array id we need to run the query mysql query sql and finally getting the results mysql fetch array oh just need to make sure we're using the same resource here this connection okay and what we need to return is the rest which is the results and the name and that's it really However, we need to set up our database. Let's create a SOAP database, get into it and create the students table with only two columns, the ID and the name. Go, we need the ID, we need the name, this is INT, this is var car, 32, null, 
primary auto increment and save and okay let's insert some dummy data say we have John and we have Sam okay browse get back here and since as you can see that the first ID or the ID numbered one belongs to John we should have right here John if we refresh the page let's do that yep it's John just making sure and changing the ID from 1 to 2 save refresh and that's some okay that's that for now and later in the second part I'm going to show you how to add an authentication process and how to send the headers and set that the correct way and all work you know everything's gonna be in PHP so I hope you've enjoyed this and you've learned something if you have any comments feedbacks just let me know and if you need to cover you know any other topics just let me know and I will try to do that the next time okay have a good day bye